Hello, my name's Fiona. I'm a community artist and I'm going to deliver an arts and crafts session from home for Manchester Libraries. Today we'll be doing an art session with just coloured paper and a pair of scissors, so we'll be drawing with scissors. We are going to use the artist Henry Matisse as our inspiration. Here's a catalogue of his latest work before he died um, called The Cutouts. There's some fantastic pictures in here, really easy, colourful images that we'll try and copy and get some inspiration from. What you'll need for this workshop is some coloured paper and card like this. Uh, you can use some scissors, you will use a glue stick, you'll need a roll of tape and some white paper. And I've stuck my paper together here to make a long strip. They're going to be copying some of his ideas that I've found in the catalogue and you'll also see behind me there's lots of images and ideas for us. If we are taking inspiration from artist Henry Matisse and his cutout works, I'll read you a little bit from his catalogue. Henry Matisse was born in 1869 and died in 1954 is one of the leading figures of modern art and one of the most important colourists of all time. His unparalleled cutouts are among the most significant of any artist's late work. In the final years of his life, Matisse gradually abandoned painting and began to cut into painted paper with scissors as his primary technique to make maquettes of a number of commissions, from books to stained glass windows um, to designs for tapestry and ceramics. Today we will take inspiration from his work, from his cutouts, using some of the images that we've got here and trying our own way. We will also be inspired by things we can find around the house um, from flora and fauna, leaves, flowers, fruits and vegetables. Choose two colours of card, any contrasting colours that you think will look good together. So I've chosen the pink and the orange. I'm looking at the Matisse cutouts here. It almost looks like seaweed. So I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to have a look. I'm going to copy one of them. So I'm going to go for that one there. I'm just going to start cutting in with the scissors. Let's see how it goes. In one cut line, I'm not taking my scissors off the page. So I'm following it up, seeing how it will go. This curves in a little bit down. A little look. Just making some of the easy shapes. See how it looks. I'm also going to keep the other side, the negative part. I'm going to have another go now, maybe looking at these kind of apples or tomatoes there. So picking a couple of colours, I might pick the green and a blue. paper, moving the paper along to form the shape, I'm not taking the scissors off the page at all. Let's have a look. It's really easy, simple shapes. Okay, so there's a couple of them there. Let's see how these look on the background. Yep, I can get another one out of here, let's try it. 
Okay, so all working. You get the gist, you're just trying these things out. Nothing's wrong, just keep on going. So looking at the catalogue of the Matisse cutouts, there's loads of choice of different shapes to look at, different background colours, and I love that one. So I'm going to have a look at this one here and try and play around with some ideas myself. So a couple of pieces of card, let's see what looks good together. I'm going to go for an orange and maybe the yellow. So let's see the seaweed shape again. I'm just going to go like this and see what I can get. A little bit like a leaf, a little bit like seaweed. Just enjoy keeping the card moving, seeing what shapes you can get. Oops. And you can do this with plenty of different combinations of coloured card. See how many you can get. Make sure it's all in one piece. There we go. So we've got that one. How's that look? Great. Let's try this one here. Okay, so we can start sticking things down now. So where's my glue stick? Over this side. Just a little bit of glue on there. Just gonna press that down. Same with this. Maybe a little bit more on this one. that. So you can build up many different combinations, see how many you can get. And I've stuck a big piece of white paper onto the wall and I'm going to try and make a composition of as many of these as I've got. So I've brought in some flowers now. Uh, we've got some lilies, we've got some freesias, we've got some allium and just looking at all the different types of leaves. So, in the style of Matisse, you're just going to see with one scissor cut, what kind of shapes I can cut. So some different leaves, keep all of your bits. Let's try again, those lily leaves. Flow of the shape. And then I might look at the long stems on the freesia. So this is a little bit different, but I'm just trying to change it up a bit. Don't put your fingers off. Just enjoying folding and moving the paper around and seeing what I can get. So bringing these in, let's see. The allium of long stems and round heads there. I put these ones out earlier. Just trying to get a few different bits and pieces. You don't need to try and get the colours to be the same as the flowers, but you can if you want to. So I'm looking at the heads of the freesias here. I'd like to change the size and scale of it. Just mixing it all up and seeing what kind of combination you can get. So see what you can do with those. Keep all the pieces together. So I've looked around the house and tried to find some interesting shapes. So I've got some different fruits and vegetables. We've got the scraps of paper here as well. And we don't necessarily have to use the colours that are in there. We're just looking at the different shapes and seeing how we can cut them out in the same style that Matisse did with his one line of cutting. 
so blueberries over here. I might even fold the paper for this. So just going to cut out a few. Blueberries. If we get some more, I might go for. Let's have a look. We've got some scrap blue over here. Maybe kind of shape of raspberries. Doesn't have to be exact, we just want to have a bit of fun playing around with cutting with the scissors, seeing what we can get. Keeping all of these pieces and using the scraps from earlier. Okay, you can see I'm building them up quite quickly. Oh, I like that green, and I've got pieces of rocket here. Rocket leaves, so they're quite good shape. Let's see if we can get some of those on the go. So they can be quite fiddly. And they're kind of similar to some of the shapes that we cut out earlier. If you haven't got these the vegetables in that you like, then you can imagine or get photographs of them from somewhere. Just trying to get some different shapes. So finally, trying to choose another pattern or something to be inspired by for your cutouts. I've chosen animal prints for this one and I really love the contrasting colours. So you can pick any colours that suits, have a think about different animal patterns, you know how a, what a giraffe skin pattern looks like, maybe a zebra print or a cheetah or a leopard. See what you think, and we're going to cut these out freehand and see what it's like with a coloured background. So I might choose pink and I'll go for the zebra print. We're just cutting out. place them on and stick them where you think. I've pre-cut these squares so they're ready so you can try another animal print pattern if you like or you could choose something else, a different pattern that you can find in your house. It might be a pattern that you see on cups or on packets of food or on items of clothing, there you go, like that. Anything you like, it's up to you, it's your design. So really we're just playing around with colours and different cards. I've placed out on the table the long piece of white paper. So they are stuck together with bits of tape. I have all my different parts of uh, the cutouts that I'll be making today. So the first ones were inspired by the Matisse cutouts here, which was those two. Then I think we went for these ones here. Then did we go for flowers, which were these kind of shapes here. I think we went for flowers next, didn't we? So this and that. And there are some apples. Let's see what else we've got. Then we went for the 
fruits and vegetables. So I had all of these little intricate shapes of the rocket leaves and the green beans. And we've got raspberries and blueberries and tomatoes. And I said that I would make some little stalks for the tomatoes. So I've done that. And then there's the tiles with the zebra print. So I've just stuck those down. And they're the actual pieces and that was the reverse. So I've stuck that down onto a different colour as well. So now is the fun part where we put it together into our own composition. And we can just play around with these. We don't have to use all of them. We can just use some parts and whatever looks best. You can make a whole freeze if you wanted to. All you need are your glue stick and maybe maybe some more pieces of paper if you wanted to try some of the shapes. I've also got the piece of paper here that we painted. Um, Matisse used to paint his paper first, so I've got some of this. I might start off with this. Rather than um, cutting a shape into it, I'm going to maybe make this as an edge. So, looking for my scissors, there they are. Let's see, if I fold this in half, I'm going to cut that in half at first. So, I only did two, I did orange and yellow. And looking at this shape in the book, just going to go. where we can put this. I should have those there. Let's try that one. Nothing stuck down yet. So we can always move things. Can you see how I'm just trying to build it up? Now these are the raspberries but maybe we need a different colour for the background or maybe we can cut into this like we did with the orange. Let's see. Just folding this piece of paper in half. Just use what you've got to see what you think looks nice. You can always change it around. So I'll put that in. Okay, we're getting somewhere now, aren't we? Also got the flowers. These were the stems from the freesias before, weren't they? So, oh yeah, that looks quite nice. Here's one of the allium. Where can that go? Can we try it up here? Yep. Let's see, another one. Maybe. I think maybe it can go under there. Oh, this is quite nice if it echoes the shape there as well. And should we have I think we've got some more stems here. Are the apples? So the apples are like this at the moment because I cut them on, I stuck them onto the card. I think I'm now going to go around this. See how they look. So play around with those for a while. See what you think when you're happy with the design. Um, use the glue stick and stick it down. So here's the results from today. Here are the Matisse inspired cutouts. We have the cutouts from here, the first ones we did, the flower shapes, the apples from earlier, the fruits and vegetables over here, and the animal print. We've used the shapes at the side that represent some of the Matisse shapes from the catalogue that we saw, and I've used black strips around the side to make a border. Any of the extra pieces, I've made another piece here as well. I hope you've enjoyed the Easy Arts and Crafts cutouts and all of the Manchester Library's art activities. Thank you. Bye for now.